This video is brought to you by our friends at Taurus. You know, the iPhone always seems to have a few tricks up its sleeve that go unnoticed. In today's video, we're going to look at five clever features you may not know anything about. Hi, my name is Rich. I crank out simple to follow videos each week on how to get the most out of your iPad and iPhone, you know, without going nuts. Today's video is no exception, nothing complicated, just five simple tips you might find helpful. And here they are. I'll show you how you can create a number of custom home screens and then hide them. How to move the cursor with the space bar. I've covered this before in a previous video, but it's such a handy tip I want to mention it again. How to set up and use iPhone back tap. Some of you may know that, but it just seems to fly under the radar most of the time. How to set up text replacement to save time, and then how to swap contact info with another iPhone in just a split second. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to talk to you about is just how to hide home screens. This is one of those little features that is really helpful. So if you notice, on my iPhone, I've got a, I've got a screen here, I've got some widgets on it. I've got another screen here that's got some more, another screen there, another screen there, and then I, you get to my app library. But these screens have a particular purpose. So when I travel, I want to know the weather, I want to have access to maps, and I want to have access to the notes that I use for my travel. And so this is all on one screen here. Over here, I've got podcasts and music and news and entertainment, stuff like that. Over here, I've got photos and YouTube and playground, things like that that go together. And then over here, I have some fitness information, uh, my health information, a journal, and the Translate app. But I really don't like to see all of these home screens like that. If you've watched this channel at all, you know I like to keep things simple. So it's easy to hide these things and then bring them back whenever you need them. So, for example, when I go on a trip, if you tap and hold... You're going to see right here, you've got um, some little dots representing the home screens. And if you tap on that, now you see all of the home screens that I just showed you. So all you have to do is uncheck the ones you don't want to see. And then you tap done. And now I have just my travel home screen. And then I'm right back to the app library. So it's pretty simple. If I want to bring something back, again, I tap and hold. I tap on the little dots, and here they show up again. Now, maybe I just want to have my phone out at dinner time, and I just want to have the photos show up. So I do that, and I tap Done, and now I've just got photos and entertainment stuff that shows up, nothing else. And whenever I want to just bring everything back again, I just tap, 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 like that, and now I've got all of my home screens again. They're all here. And this can be used with focus modes, but that's for another video. But in the meantime, this is just a good way to build out custom home screens and then hide them when you don't need them. Okay, this next tip is just worth its weight in gold. I'm gonna show you how to move the cursor. So I've got a text message here, and I'm just gonna reply And I'm going to say, please call me tomorrow. But if you'll notice, I typed, please call my tomorrow. Well, every time I do something like that, I always take my finger and I'm trying to get the cursor somewhere. And it does that. And I just can't ever get it where I need it to be. But if you just tap and hold the space bar, now you can slide that cursor anywhere. And it becomes very easy to fix. So now I can tap that. And I've got, please call me tomorrow, which is what I want. So the only thing you have to remember when you're texting or writing any text on your iPhone is just tap and hold the space bar and suddenly it becomes like a trackpad and you can move that cursor around anywhere you want. And then when you let off, you've got your keyboard back. That is a really handy little feature. Now is a good time to tell you about today's sponsor, Taurus. First up is the Taurus Polar Circle Wireless Charger. And its name, Polar Circle, means cool charging. Many power banks overheat and damage the battery. This charger has a cooling plate and fan that dissipates heat while still providing 15 watts of fast Qi 2 wireless charging. 
which is actually faster than Apple's original charger. But what really sets Polar Circle apart is its low temperature safe charging. Within less than a minute of use, it starts cooling down, which can be felt directly by touch or measured with a thermometer. Honestly, I know of no other product on the market like this. It's got a strong magnetic connection for hassle-free charging, but it doesn't stop there. It also has a 360 degree versatile stand that allows you to use the phone while it's charging. This is going to be my go-to portable charger. I love this thing and you will too. You can pair the Polar Circle wireless charger with the Ice Nano Fold Pro Charger power supply. It's incredibly compact and stylish, crystal clear like ice and 40% smaller than Apple's original 30 watt charger. It's got a fin design that allows for better airflow and heat dissipation. So you not only get low temperature charging, you get fast charging. It's 30 watts of power, can charge your MacBook Air, your iPad, iPhone, and more. A perfect travel companion. Of course, you need to connect these items, and Taurus's IceFlow USB-C cable is the perfect companion to complete this trifecta. It supports 60 watts of fast charging. The zinc alloy casing ensures it won't heat up during charging. It's compatible with all USB-C devices. It's safe, durable, and even has an auto-off feature that stops the charging when the battery is full, ensuring battery health. If you'd like to learn more about these incredible products, be sure to check out the link in the description below. And thanks to our friends at Taurus for supporting this channel. All right, back to the next tip. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is just called BackTap. Now, this feature has been around for a while, and you can set your phone up to where when you tap on the back of it, something happens. So let me show you how to set that up. If you go over to Settings, and you go to, there it is, Accessibility, and then you go to Touch, and then you slide down, you've got back tap down here. And if you notice, I've got it turned off. But I'm going to set up something for triple tap. So I've set stuff up on double tap before, and I don't know how I do it, but I put it in my pocket and I double tap it, and I don't want to do that. But I rarely ever triple tap. So I'm going to tap on triple tap. And now I have a whole bunch of options of things that I can do by simply tapping on the back of my phone. And I'm just going to choose one of these. And by the way, you can set this up with shortcuts too, which is something for another video, but it becomes really powerful when you pair it with shortcuts. But I'm just going to find something that I like uh, maybe I just want the magnifier because my eyes are not like they used to be. And I'm going to just set it like that. And now, if, if I take my phone and I triple tap, suddenly the magnifying glass shows up like that. And I can zoom in however I want on that. And I got that by just tapping three times like that. And now you've got the magnifying glass. And you can set that up to do anything that you want it to do. That is a handy little feature. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is text replacement. It's called text replacement, but I use it kind of like a text expander. So let me show you how this works. If you go into settings and then general and then slide all the way down to keyboard and then continue on down, or no, right here at the top you see text replacement and if you tap on that, you can create things in here that uh, expand text or replace text. So I'm going to tap the little plus up here and I'm just going to put my, say my phone number in there, which of course this is not my real phone number, but now I've got it in there and I'm going to put in here what I want the shortcut to be. So in this case, I'm going to choose two at symbols. 
And what that means is whenever I tap the two at symbols, my telephone number shows up. And I don't have to type out my whole telephone number. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go back into messages. And I'll choose this message here. And I'll say, call me at. And now I'm going to go like that. And it brings up my phone number just like that. And I choose it. Very, very simple. Again, I get to the little at symbol right here, and it becomes a choice. I tap on it, and there, it just fills it out. And that way you don't have to type stuff, and you can put any kind of text in there that you want. I've got, if I go to OMW, it says on my way. And then I can just use that. So you can put any kind of little phrase in there you want and then any kind of little trigger that you want. It's really handy and just once you get the hang of it, you'll use it all the time. It's a great little feature. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is just how to share contact information with someone else. So if you've got a friend that's got an iPhone, you can just bring your iPhones together and you can share contact information. So I have my two iPhones here and if you're in a restaurant or you're near your friend, you know, normally you'd say, let me text you my phone number or something like that. And that's how you would sort of make contact with one another. But you can actually share your contact pretty easily. All you do is just bring your two phones together like that. And now you can share the contact information just like that. And you can tap on share. You can tap on receive only. I only want to receive it. I don't want to share my contact. And you can, you can have a choice of whether you do that. But that is just a very easy way to share contact information by simply tapping two iPhones together. A neat little feature. So I think those were pretty clever little tips. I hope there was one or two in there you might find helpful. All right, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.